In this video, let's go over the process for cloning a code repository from Azure DevOps with Visual Studio Code. Let's start by going over the prerequisites. You're going to need to make sure that you have both VS Code and Git installed. Links to both will be in the description below. Once VS Code and Git are installed, we're ready to get started. So let's start by logging into Azure DevOps in the browser. I have a couple of projects here, so I'm going to choose my Git project. Under that project, let's go over to the left-hand side to the orange icon for repos and click on that. This will drop me into the default repository that got created when I stood up this project. You could use an already existing repository for this demo, but let's go ahead and create a new repo because I want to point something out. So click on the default repo name at the top of the screen and then click on new repository. Now it's important to make sure that your repo is created with Git as the repository type. Make sure you're not using TFVC. I'm just gonna call this Git repo and then click create. Now I have a new Git repository with a readme file and I'm ready to start my clone. To clone this repo, click on the clone button in the upper right corner. This will give you a couple of options. You could use HTTPS or SSH, but for this, I'm going to be using HTTPS. Then just click the copy button next to the Git URL to copy it to the clipboard. Now, switch over to a new VS Code window. Then, click on the Source Control tab on the left-hand side. From here, click on Clone Repository. A text box will pop up asking for the Git URL of the repo. Paste the URL from the previous step here, and then hit Enter. Next, browse to the location on your local machine where you would like to store this repo. Then click Select Repository Location. You may be prompted here to authenticate with Azure DevOps if you haven't already done so, so just enter in your username and password if you are. Then click on Open. Next, you'll be asked if you trust the authors of these files. If this is a trusted repo, click Yes, I trust the authors. I've now cloned down my repo, which contains a single readme file that was auto-generated when I created this repository. Alternatively, to clone a repo, I could have just clicked on Clone in VS Code back in Azure DevOps. This will attempt to open VS Code to run through the cloning process. So you would just click on Open here to open VS Code. Next, you would need to allow the Git extension to open the URL. Then you would just follow the same process of selecting a location to clone the repo to. It's usually a little bit quicker to do it this way from ADO, but it's all about your preference. And that was how to clone an Azure DevOps repo using VS Code. Thanks for watching.